Taiwan and Australia share a strong friendship built on people-to-people -people ties and trade exchanges. Over the past three years, Australia's representative to Taiwan, Gary Cowan, has played a key role in strengthening that friendship. Cowan's term in Taipei is soon coming to an end, and he'll be returning to Australia in January. He looks back on his time in Taiwan with Formosa News reporter Stephanie Yang. Australia's representative to Taiwan pedals hard as co-workers cheer for him along the way. According to him, this trip up Wuling Mountain was one of the hardest things he's done. He learned valuable lessons from the experience, which helped him reflect on his diplomatic strategies. 3,275 meters, so it's a long way up from the sea. So it took me more than eight hours. Last uh, 20 kilometers, it was very heavy rain, lightning, thunder. <laughs> A very, very steep and high altitude, so it was, it was very hard. But um, I persevered and uh, I had teammates there with me. So I think the, the, the two diplomatic lessons I drew from that experience, if I can say that, are, you know, um, even though something is hard, if you have a, a goal, maybe a diplomatic goal, then uh, perseverance is one way to get there. And also, I think it's important not to do it alone. You need uh, friends, partners um, to, to help you get there. So uh, I think in, in uh, achieving the region that we want to see, it's important to, to work with friends and partners. Some of his most memorable moments in Taiwan include biking around Taiwan, hiking, surfing, and volunteering for nonprofits. During his stay, he's ticked off three items on his bucket list cycling around Taiwan, climbing Jade Mountain, and swimming across Samun Lake. What do you think you're going to miss most about Taiwan? Oh, I think uh, many, many things. Obviously, friends. Um, uh, colleagues in, in government here, in business here, um, but also the mountains. Yeah, we don't have mountains as high as you have here. So uh, although Australia's scenery is fantastic um, and like Taiwan, we love uh, the outdoors, I think your mountains are pretty special. In the three years of Cohen's tenure, the trade and economic relationship between Taiwan and Australia has expanded and diversified significantly. In 2019, economic exchanges between Taiwan and Australia reached new highs in both trade and tourist numbers. Trade was worth more than 20 billion Australian dollars. That year, 200,000 Taiwanese visited Australia and 100,000 Australians visited Taiwan. Australia and Taiwan have discovered that we have a lot to offer each other. And of course, uh, right from the early days, we have very complementary. But I think what's happened also in more recent times is that um, we have benefited from many young Taiwanese going to Australia, uh, working there, studying there, travelling there, uh, sometimes settling down. And so bit by bit we've developed, I think, uh, a cohort of people who know Australia quite well and that has led to a great diversification in the relationships. So Cohen says he envisions more cooperation between Taiwan and Australia after COVID-19, specifically on energy development and biomedicine. In the energy sector, Taiwan is buying liquefied natural gas from Australia on a long-term contract. Two years ago, we started supplying to you under long-term contract for the first time, LNG. And this is helping Taiwan reach its uh, uh, natural gas targets in its energy mix. So we've gone from a, a, you know, almost nothing to, I think, uh, well over 4 million tonnes a year. Cohen says what he's most proud of during his Taiwan tenure is rediscovering the potential of the close ties between Taiwan and Australia. I've really had a terrific experience here over the three years. I've discovered a lot about um, Taiwan, its people, its culture, uh, its scenery and its capabilities. And um, next year, uh, my office, the Australian office in Taipei, it will uh, celebrate 40 years, its 40th anniversary. So uh, 
we will be having some activities to celebrate the 40th anniversary of, of the office. And uh, what I'd like Taiwanese people to do is to rediscover what Australia has to offer and what our relationship has to offer. So there's lots of potential and I, I think we should grab it. Taiwan and Australia have many things in common, population size, democratic values, and a complex colonial history. Both also face pressure from China. Recently, China started imposing import tariffs of up to 212 percent on Australian wine. Many Taiwan officials have shown support for Australian winemakers amid the harsh tariffs, and many Taiwanese have been purchasing Australian wine. I think we've been uh, pleased that um, Taiwan has uh, you know, given um, support from its people. Uh, we've certainly had a lot of inquiries on purchasing Australian wine in the last little while. We welcome that. Uh, we welcome the warm feelings from from uh, the people of uh, Taiwan. And, you know, of course, we'll be looking at, at ways of uh, building markets in a whole range of partners in Taiwan and beyond. Taiwan does not yet have a free trade agreement with Australia. When asked about the possibility of one in the future, Cohen gave a measured response. We haven't taken a decision to do that at this point, but at some point, you know, we will examine it again um, and, uh, and see where we are at that, that point. But uh, we're certainly very open to improving economic and trade relationships and always interested in looking at ways of liberalising that trade. Taiwan has made really remarkable strides the last 30 years. It's moved to being a very, you know, robust uh, democracy. Uh, we admire, you know, what uh, Taiwan has done, what its society has done. So we see, I think, Taiwan as a, you know, a good partner in the region for a whole range of things and of course I've talked a lot about the economic partnership we already have. Um, I think, you know, we are always interested in developing relationships, diversifying markets and um, and working with, with good friends and partners. Cohen's three-year tenure is coming to an end and he'll be returning to his home in Canberra in January. He says he'll be taking his Taiwanese bike home to continue riding and taking on new challenges. His parting wish is that Taiwan and Australia can keep strengthening their relationship in the coming years. For Mosa News, Stephanie Yang, Lu Bo Tong in Taipei.